Good morning. Hello, my name is Ben from Apfelocker Germany. Welcome to the micro soldering show. And today in the morning we have just a little task to fix fast because after that I got a date. Um, so I won't be won't be there later in the comp at the company uh, again at about 12 o'clock. So I just have to set some things because today in the morning my ZXW just doesn't want to work. Uh, my ZXW, my OBS. So we got an iPhone 6S. And I can take this picture big again. So I have no on hands cam at the moment because my system fucked up and I just have to renew some things. The iPhone 6S was mailed in because it just doesn't boot. Um, customer writes on the form he needs the important data and the phone doesn't work anymore at all and I just want to have a look why. So I just open the device and after opening the device I just get off the battery plug. First the shield and then the battery plug and then I just connect it to DC power supply because I want to see what the magic power supply can tell us about that device. And we got a short on VCC main, we get directly 5 amps. So let's just get this thing done fast. Another VCC main short. Yesterday in the morning I did an iPhone 7 A10 data rescue job. You could see it on Instagram and on Facebook. So the device was mailed in by another shop and they told um, they didn't nothing but they had it to a third shop and this shop had been tried had been trying to um, to to rescue the data. That's the success. So the phone came here Watch the, the, the post on Instagram. It looked ugly, really ugly. Flux everywhere, flux on the CPU, flux on the backside of the CPU, um, on, the, on the power. I see everywhere flux and ripped off parts and I, I just didn't connect it to power supply because it was, uh, it was too hard destroyed and I directly said, okay, we can do a swap. Did you do anything before on before uh, uh, with uh, except the solar work on that phone before? I asked them before, and they said no, no, no. We uh, the, the other shop only tried to move away shorts and things like that, but we we haven't tried to um, to do restore or something like that. Okay, I did the swap. All was fine. The phone booted, but it looped. Okay thought hmm, no problem we do an update we did an update without error message and the phone was deactivated okay so before I don't know what they have done but um, they fucked up customers device and data has been gone and they have to pay anyway because we ask before we ask so many times before is it okay to do the swap did you do anything with the data did you entered the passcode several times. No, no, no. Okay, then we start. But if we start then and um, the swap is successful and the data aren't on the phone because of the repair shop's work or the customer's work, it's not our problem. Really, that was hard. So now we just have a short look um, where we can find the short. Okay. Often we got it on the front side where we can see the backlight, but we start at the back side of the board to find something. Okay, and here we got it. It's just one little cap next beside to the baseband PMU. Looks beautiful, really. I will give it to you in the video so you can see. 
So now we just move under the microscope and I hope the microscope cam works. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it works. Oh, leg. Flux everywhere on all my, on all my, all my things I use and all my BGA holders and all my preheaters and things like that I have to clean all. And do you see that? You can see it with your eyes. The capacitor here looks a little gray. And these capacitors on VCC main, mostly on VCC main or 3VO NAND, just fuck up from time to time. And then you can't boot the device, you don't have the possibility to get in your data. The device just doesn't work just because one of these little caps. So the, caps sh the sh cap short is to ground. It's uh, uh, inside the cap there are many layers of ceramic and if the cap shorts, the ceramic breaks, the, the, the device fell down or you have just, uh, um, just a material fault and then the device shuts down and just doesn't work anymore at all just because of one little cap. So, in that case, we can just solve that really fast. We take out the cap, so the short has been gone. And we place in a new cap, and that's the whole magic, the whole magic on that small arrow is just to replace a cap. So I wanted to show you more today in the morning as just another VCC main short, but trust me, I will give you another masterpiece these days. <coughs> but today in the morning, I have to hurry up because Andy and me, we, got, uh, we have to go to another company um, today in the morning. So, we ha just have to hurry up, Andy will arrive in some minutes and after that we just have to sit in the car and drive to the other company and we will be back against 12 o'clock. In that time, Dennis, David and Ilya are here to manage the, to manage the shop, so not a big problem. And against 12 o'clock we will be back here and just finish our works. No problem, but as every day I just want to give you one video. So it's really a hard work for me to get it every day and I can't give you a masterpiece every day because it's just, I just can't repair what I have on my table and the masterpiece videos take really more time because they, they last longer and little repairs like this are not bad for you because you can see how to just easily find errors, shorted caps and remove shorts easily in a fast way and with a really clean out of work. Okay, we are done. New capacitors in. So now we can just connect the screen. I would like you to give I would like to give you on the on hands, but like I said, it just doesn't work. I will have a look for that later. So now we just hook it up to power supply. Short has been gone and we push the button. And wait a second and boom we are back to life again with our iPhone 6s after just a little short on VCC main you can solve these shorts so fast we um, we talk about that caps uh, we, we uh, call them money caps because you can you can earn in, in these cases really you can earn fast money with not much more work if you know how to do, okay? Every work we do here is uh, a lot of experience 
and um, a lot of skill, but for, the, for, for, for just removing a cap and replace that, you don't need as many hand skill as if you do a, a CPU or things like that, okay? So, you see, we just have to wait for the boot, but the phone is working fine again. Now the Apple just changes the, the look of the color um, because the ambient, ambient light sensor is activated and now here you can see the phone is working fine again and yeah I hope you like the video I hope uh, you can learn something on my videos if you want to learn things like that here directly from from me or from Andy you can just join our Facebook uh, you can just uh, join our class at the Bottle Library Repair School Germany and um, if you uh, are working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets uh, you can just join our facebook group smartphone repair group germany i'm out we we'll see you with the next video boom back to life again use ben